This isn't the first group of campers who've been on our property. It won't be the last. Now at four, there's a new homeless tent city tonight, but it is not breaking the law. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Now Cincinnati. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Happy Friday, everyone. Well, many of the people who've been living on the streets recently are beginning to find permanent shelter. The Now's Tom McKee has the story from over the Rhine. This tent city sprang up overnight here at the corner of 13th and Republic streets in the over the Rhine. Some may say, how can this be? They were banned from being in public spaces. Well, that's because this lot is privately owned. That owner is Over the Rhine Community Housing, which has 450 housing units in the neighborhood, some of it set aside for the homeless. The organization's housing director, Andy Hetzel, said they didn't ask permission to be there, but... We've been doing this kind of work for about 40 years in this neighborhood, so this isn't the first group of campers who've been on our property. It won't be the last. And they're not being kicked out. Our role is, hey, let's engage them and figure out what kind of housing solutions we can come up with. Among them is Desmond, who has moved from camp to camp to camp in the last week. Now, people that was getting services and help by them moving us now, we have to go find them to continue with their help and get them in housing. The people in these tent cities know this is not a permanent solution. Kevin Finn of Strategies to End Homelessness says many have moved on, even filling out applications for permanent housing. A number of people have gone into shelter um, over the course of the last couple weeks. There have also been uh, some people that have gotten into housing programs or have gone into treatment programs of various sorts. Just a few remain that have not been placed. We just saved so many lives in the last couple of weeks because of the tension that we brought. We're building bridges. we putting people together. Both Finn and Hutzel say they believe that soon this lot will be completely cleared of tents. That's because people will have gotten into shelters, treatment, or permanent housing. Tom McKee for the now in the Over the Rhine.